I'm excited, everybody. I, all, I moved to California from Texas, and uh, I took a Greyhound to get here. Yeah, I know, which is basically a bad neighborhood that moves. You know what I mean? Seriously, like... <laughs> like, nobody should ever get mugged going 75 miles an hour down a highway. It happened to me. I got mugged, pink eye, and diarrhea. All in one trip, everybody. Isn't that nice? Every time I'm on the Greyhound, they always seat me next to like the angriest black dude ever too, right? And like once a bus gets rolling, he always looks at me like, say, man, say, player. Right? He like, say, little white boy. You know? And I'm Mexican, but I'm too scared to correct him. You know what I mean? I'm just like, I don't want to be like, well, funny you say that, sir, but I'm actually Latino. Like, I'm like, all right, okay. I'm, I'm a little white boy, that's fine. He's like, say, little white boy, let me buy your cell phone right quick, man. And I'm like, all right. And I'm thinking, ah, there goes the iPhone. You know what I mean? Like, seriously, I saved up all summer. Now I gotta wait two years for an upgrade. That's not cool. And for 15 minutes, this is a conversation he has on my phone. He's like, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay then, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, okay then, I'm gonna holler back at you. I'm like, <laughs> like what conversation just took place, everybody? All I can imagine, the guy at the end of the phone is like, say Dontrell, he gonna win in lottery numbers for the past two weeks, man. The weekend in the second, 12? All right. 22? All right. Eight? All right. 33? All right. 41? All right. Powerball four? Okay, then. Like, I don't know, you guys. I'm just assuming. Thank you. What a nice crowd, huh? I am from Texas. I miss Texas. I miss my ex-girlfriend. Big, dumb, stupid, redneck. She was great. I miss her. Yeah, no, I do. Every day, she'd be like, baby, what you want to go do tonight, baby? That's, that's how she talked. You know what I mean? I'd be like, I don't know. It's like, I don't know, Muffin. How about we go to the zoo? She's like, the zoo? <laughs> well, look at you getting all artsy-fartsy on me. I'm like, yeah, I know. That's, that's pretty fancy right there, huh? Ooh, put on your thinking hat, the rhino's gonna pee. Come on, sweetie. That, just like the Guggenheim for my little brainiac right here. I like Southern women, though. No offense to you, California. I love Southern women, because they're so kinky, right? Like, this is every phone call I've ever had with a Southern girl, right? Send me a picture of your boobs. No. Come on, text me a picture of your boobs. I'm at the hospital with my daughter. <laughs> I'm like, come on, just text me a picture of your boobs. <laughs> oh, hold on. You know what I mean? It's awesome. It's so nice. <laughs> Baby, watch mama's purse for a minute. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is going to happen. This is great. I did a show in a small town, Texarkana, Texas. I don't recommend anybody ever. It's awful. <laughs> These rednecks were so dumb, they had a magician open up the show and they booed him. Like, after every trick, they were just angry, like boo, like mad. And he wasn't even a bad magician. They were just afraid of magic. Seriously, you guys, it scared of like. After every trick, they just had these looks on their faces, like, all right, you better quit messing around with them handkerchiefs, buddy. How's he keep pulling all that out of one top hat? That ain't possible, you know, like. One more trick, they were just gonna shoot him. And you know what? I was hoping for that to happen. I really was. Just so I could have gone to the trial, you know? <laughs> Seen the guy defend himself like, look, your owner, he took a newspaper. <laughs> and he cuts it up into about 10 different letter pieces. And then he goes and puts it back together like it ain't been cut one. <laughs> the devil is the only one strong enough who could do that, your owner. And he'll trick you. The case dismissed, because, you know, now the judge is scared. He's like, son, you're a hero. He went to the comedy club and shot the devil, everybody. <laughs> like, it's, you know, it's like, guy's got like a parade named after him a week later. It was a 
Good to be out of there, you know? Good to see my family, though. Come from a poor Mexican family. You always wonder when you grow up poor how it happened. Like the root of your poverty, right? Like what great grandpa just ruined it for everybody, you know? <laughs> Right, like I found out mine, it was my grandpa. He came to America from Mexico. He was a doctor, that's easy money, but he wasn't a good one. Because <laughs> yeah, the only English he knew was, nah, he's okay. So, like that didn't help anybody, like. Bro, are you sure? I've been bleeding from the same spot for like, nah, he's okay. <laughs> like, all right, this guy's good. I got to see my uncle. Every Mexican family in Texas, we all got that one racist white uncle. The guy who hates Mexicans, but he married one anyway. You know what I mean? As like the little half Mexican kids. You know, that bothers him, right? Every Christmas, he's sitting there by the tree. You can't hear him, but you read his mind. He's got this look on his face like, I can't stand these Mexicans running around. Messing up the words to Jingle Bells. Singing Silent Night in their own damn language. <laughs> but I tell you what, these tamales are pretty good. Like that, you know what I mean? He's there for the food, you know? <laughs> My uncle, he is so racist. You tell him a racist joke, he doesn't even laugh. He's just like, I know! <laughs> Really, dude, seriously. You preaching to the choir up there. <laughs> like, all right, man, just calm down. Oh, it's crazy. I got a girlfriend now. That's hot, huh? I'm 33. She's 21, huh? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. She's also Mexican. And I'm thinking, oh, man, right? I'm older than her parents. Like, how weird is that, everybody, huh? Can you imagine when I meet him for the first time? I'd be like, oh man, I gotta buy everybody beer? All right, get in the car, come on, here we go. <laughs> Silly Dominguez is here. I don't know if it's gonna work. I think it's too big of an age gap. I don't know, 33, 21. You know what else is creepy? My baby cousin, Trisha, she's 21, you know? Yeah, and we hooked up a couple of times, and that never worked, everybody. We just couldn't find anything to relate to, and we had the same grandmother. That should have been easier, you know? Like, one night after sex, like, hey, remember Nano's pancakes? You know, nothing. You're like, no, she died when I was two. I'm like, man, you don't remember anything, dude. This sucks. A book or something. I don't know where you've been. Sweetie. It was good seeing my family. It was, uh, I had to sleep in my 12-year-old niece's bedroom, you guys. Isn't that creepy? That was real. Yeah. Ugh. I mean, I masturbated anyway. No problem. Thank you. Seriously, no. It helped because she had the same posters of the Twilight characters that I have in my bedroom. So I'm like, hey, who knew Jackie was Team Jacob? How about that, huh? Blood is thicker than water. That's hot. And it got easier, because after the third night, they finally made her sleep somewhere else. It was getting awkward, you guys. Seriously, it was like, hey. Before I leave you, I'd like to have a message to all the beautiful women. This is for all the ladies tonight. Seriously, this is for all the beautiful women here tonight. From the bottom of my heart, I mean this to all the ladies. You're not smarter than men. Shut up. Seriously, get over it. It's not true. Oh, scientists of the show. You know, it's a scientist trying to get laid. That's who figured that out, all right? You're not smarter than men. You're just as dumb as we are. I had a girl call me up the other day crying. I'm like, hello? She's like, hello? I'm like, oh my God, are you okay, sweetie? I'm so tired. I'm like, of what? You don't understand. How have you ever gotten so tired that you didn't to to cry? Have you ever gotten so tired you started to cry, sir? No. I had to think a couple of times I have gotten so tired, I went to sleep. It was crazy. Seriously, like I, I found a bed, I crawled right in. Yeah, ladies, check this out. Eight hours later, I'm wide awake, I'm full of energy. I solved my whole I'm tired riddle, and I didn't even have to cry. I'm so tired, I don't know what to do. Well, since you're so much smarter than us men, Einstein, how about a pillow and a flat surface? Give it a shot. Thank you very much. Have a great evening. You guys are awesome.